tradition in their area was to hang polar bear and black bear skulls from the ceiling and depending on which way they would point you'd be able to forecast uh, which way the wind will be the next day and I actually uh, 
I actually done a video a few years back on one of the old polar bear skulls that was hung up in uh, my uncle's shed that belonged to her great grandfather. And uh, now I'm happy to say I got a polar bear skull here hung up in my shed. And uh, you know, uh, a lot of the knowledge is lost on how to actually read uh, the polar bear head and different things like that. But uh, but to be able to keep the tradition going, you know, uh, really do mean a lot. In the title, I call this a water bear. And uh, I did that because, like, my grandmother and all, a lot of the old people down home, uh, they, they never did call them polar bears. They always referred to them as water bears. And, you know, the polar bears, they spend a lot of time with our noise hunting seals and swimming in water. And so, so the old people, yeah, they always call them water bears. And since, you know, this is keeping the old tradition going, I said, oh, I'll call them a water bear here as well. Uh, yeah, it feels really good, you know, to, to have this one hung on the ceiling here to keep the old tradition going. Uh, you know, a lot of knowledge is lost and actually in how to read uh, read them or whatnot. But uh, but as I learn more, uh, but I'll actually, you know, I'm going to try to learn as much as I can about it. And if it, if it comes across any more real good info or something, I'll pass it along. And hopefully down the road, I'll get a nice big black bear and hang a, a black bear skull from the ceiling here as well. And actually, our great grandfather used to have a polar bear and a black bear hung up as well. And from what I've been told, like, They'll point in different directions. Uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, uh, I guess that's it for this one. But uh, what I'm going to do, uh, the old video that I took of the polar bear skull near my uh, uncle's shed in Malibu Harbor, I'm going to add that video to the end of this one. And, uh, you know, I, I heard stories too of people hanging up uh, lake heads in some other places and stuff like that. But, uh, but you know, uh, uh, I guess, uh, you know, it feels good to keep this tradition going, and who knows, maybe other people will do this as well. Uh, you know, we're losing a lot of our old old, old knowledge and traditions and stuff, so, uh, you know, we try to save on, save uh, as much as we can. So, uh, just, uh, just doing my little part here. <laughs> yeah, so, all right, appreciate y'all watching, and I hope uh, to see y'all in the next one. Take care. Long the base from the big man. Well, guys, right here is a, a polar bear skull, and to start off, I should say uh, uh, polar bears are no longer uh, hunted in this area. Uh, it was banned quite a few years ago, but uh, this one was harvested by uh, my grandmother's father, Jim Russell, my great grandfather, and uh, he used to have a polar bear. This polar bear skull, and he also used to have a black bear skull hung up, and he used these skulls for uh, predicting the weather. And I thought I'd share this because I never really heard tell of it before, but. Uh, but the, the way it worked was, uh, you can see the skull is actually, I think, moving a little tiny bit there now. But if, the, if that skull was facing towards the northeast, then the next day you would get the northeast wind. Uh, the polar bear skull always faced the direction that you were going to get the wind. And the, the black bear skull, I was told, worked opposite. Uh, if the bear, black bear skull was pointed to the southwest, then you would get northeast wind. The polar bear faced the wind. The black bear was pointed away from the wind. And... Uh, I'm not really sure how accurate this was, but, uh, and I believe he's supposed to be hung up a certain way. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this one is even hung up right or not, but uh, I guess with the cavity and the air pressure, maybe there's some truth to it, but uh, he's almost pointing towards northerly northeaster now, so uh, we'll check it out and see if we get any northeast wind tomorrow. I guess, uh, I hope not, because I'm hoping to get out hunting, but, uh, but anyway, this is kind of interesting. I never heard tell of it anywhere else before like this, so... Uh, I thought I'd share it, and uh, this one is quite old, uh, like I said, uh, it was a long time ago since this one was harvested, but uh, anyway, it's uh, it good to hang on to some of these old traditions, you know, so much is being lost, and uh, I thought I'd share this because uh, we do know a little bit about it, but I think there's probably more to it than what I, I, that I'm, I said, but uh, Maybe I'll try to talk to some older people, see if I find out more about this. But uh, anyway, just thought I'd share it. Uh, some, someone out there might find it interesting anyway. What a day, what a day. I'll never forget it. Ready to go here now. I tell you, I got a sweat broke. Yeah, yes sir, wonderful spot. Bears are just coming in off this ice, crossing over this aisle. Getting on the ice on the other side and traveling on. And you know, you're here at the right time, and that's that means a lot. The, the timing gotta be right on it. Yeah, tree passed through here yesterday, so 
I'm gonna work through today. You know, uh, I wouldn't mind if it was a bit bigger, but I tell you, I ain't complaining either. So, <laughs> happy hunter, no doubt. Gonna be a happy family when you get the news too.